Hi everyone, so I'm guessing either you or someone you care about experiences night terrors, otherwise you wouldn't be on this video. But the good news is I'm going to be teaching you incredibly powerful techniques to overcome them. So in terms of how night terrors differ from nightmares, so nightmares, they occur during the uh, REM stage of sleep and the REM stage of sleep is the light stage of sleep where you would dream. And because you dream during REM sleep, people will remember their nightmares and they will typically wake up during them because they're in the light stage of sleep. Night terrors, on the other hand, that they occur during the deep stage of sleep and people will not wake up during the deep stage of sleep. So night terrors accompanied by incredibly intense feelings of fear, um, thrashing, screaming. But because you wake up, they don't wake up. Often the only time you know you've had a night terror is if somebody um, in the else in the house wakes you up or if you wake up feeling incredibly fatigued anxious and stressed so we really do want to overcome them and the way to overcome them is by improving sleep quality so night terrors they are classified as a parasomnia uh, parasomnia are things like sleep walking sleep eating uh, sleep paralysis and science has proven that if you can increase sleep quality the prevalence of parasomnias will massively reduce or be completely eliminated. So in terms of how to improve sleep quality, uh, so getting up at the same time every single day is so, so important. Only going to bed when you can't keep your eyes open sleepy. Uh, I know you've heard that you should set a fixed bedtime. Complete nonsense taught by people who do not understand sleep and should stay away from sleep. So if you hear that, hit that person in the face with a wet fish because they're talking absolute nonsense. So only go to bed when you, feel, you can't keep your eyes open sleepy. If you never feel sleepy, check my other videos to find out why that is. And you also need to be tackling the anxiety, the stress and the worry around sleep. So improving sleep sleep quality is a two-pronged attack. It's building new habits and behaviors to build a new pattern of sleep and to build your sleep drive. Again, a sleep drive in all my other videos. And you're attacking the obsession, the worry, the anxiety, the fight or flight response. But if you really want to do it properly and you've spent years buying absolute nonsense like this, this is called a David Delight Pro headset. It cost me 500 quid and I bought it during my 20 years of insomnia because I hoped beyond hope that electrocuting my earlobes would help me cure my insomnia. If you're done with all the rubbish that doesn't work, you want to stop dabbling and you want to do it properly, uh, take a look at the links in the description where you can work with me one-to-one. -one. You're gonna get tailored support and it's going to set you up for the rest of your life for amazing sleep. So